I want. What? I want us to love each other. In 1971, my dad, Sidney Pollack, and Robert Redford were finishing up on a film called Jeremiah Johnson. Somewhere in that time, Ray Stark, who was a prominent producer, sent my dad a 50-page treatment written by Arthur Lawrence, and it was called The Way We Were. Barbara Streisand was attached to play Katie. About halfway through reading the treatment, my dad fell in love with it. He could absolutely see the film that he wanted to make. And he couldn't think of better casting than Redford and Streisand. The problem was, and it was a big problem, he didn't have Redford. Ray Stark and the studio were putting enormous pressure on my dad to move on and pick another actor. But my dad couldn't picture anybody else playing Hubble Gardner. Determined to get Redford, my dad started with this letter. Redford, Jesus, don't read this now. I have visions of you three days behind schedule, not sleeping, arguing with Warners, fighting the rain, and in a generally very receptive and happy mood to get a letter about a whole new project. Anyway, a couple of thoughts before you finish reading. Lawrence is really a playwright, not a novelist. What he's got, I think, is a really wonderful story of two very good people played against an interesting canvas in a fun and romantic period. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Do you smile all the time? No. Katie is pretty much self-explanatory. She's a flawed heroine. She's excessive and difficult, but she's a good lady, always on the right side, and deeply committed. What's cooking in the Kremlin, Katie? The Kremlin is worried about the civil war in Spain, are you? Hubble is not a cop-out or a weak guy. Hubble sees all sides of the argument and therefore cannot take the extreme positions that Katie does. You make fun of everything. You think politics is a joke. Well, you, but you make fun of politicians. What else can you do? Hubble's arguments with her are always intelligent and pragmatic. The president died, and it just didn't happen to you. Everything in the world that happens does not happen to you personally. These two people love each other deeply and yet do not end up together. And it's not because of any political or social issue. It's less definite but much more true and heartbreaking than that. I don't think we're going to make it, Katie. When it came to the way we were, my dad wanted to tell a story about two people who loved each other very much, but were finally so different at the core, they just couldn't be together. You want to end it nicely like a gentleman you have, so go on, go get out! The political and social area should only be background, but as background, it is fascinating and really never been dealt with. The whole McCarthy thing can be a great asset if it's handled unpretentiously and unpreachy. Those men are fighting for your right to make any kind of picture you want. I don't have to say anything about the period. You love it as much as I. You've also seen Streisand as much as I, so I don't have to say much about her. She's unbelievably good in the right thing, and it's been such a long time since you've had any help outside of Butch. Are you really so sure of everything you're so sure of? Sure. There is something about the combination of you two that has immediate sparks. Do you know you're beautiful? We've both talked about doing a love story. I knew by the time I was halfway through it that this was the one. Because it is off. It is not conventional. Not the expected kind of story of romance. The people are not black and white. They are complicated. They have flaws and rough edges, and that makes it for me much more interesting. If I knew you less well and we weren't friends, I wouldn't sell so hard. I'd probably play it very cool, but I'm too excited about this possibility not to push. For me, it's a very rare combination of good and commercial. And just to show you how dirty I can play when I want something, I will drop in the fact that you can get your salary on it. For God, Country, and Sundance, all best, Pollock. I really loved reading this letter. It reminded me so much of how smart and intuitive and instinctual my dad was about the kind of movies that he wanted to make. My dad and Bob went on to make more films together. Some of those included Three Days of the Condor, Electric Horseman, and of course, Out of Africa. But I think some of the fondest memories my dad has and some of the most sentimental feelings he has about making a movie were on the way we were. Katie, you expect so much. Oh, but look what I've got. My dad and Bob were big, beautiful souls who had a real kinship forged in the trenches of making movies together. They were true mavericks in their personal lives and in their movie life. They didn't work together much in the later years, but the last year my dad was sick, Bob would come and sit for hours with him. And I'm not sure what they talked about, but I'm sure it was interesting. <laughs>